In this report, we'll focus on procedures that permanently remove visible and unsightly varicose and spider veins. Dr. Sandy Greenberg of the Vein Doctor in Palm Desert explains these remarkable techniques. Almost every visible vein uh, can be dealt with. So that I have patients that come in with largely veins of their legs, but it doesn't stop there. Veins of the face, veins of the hands, veins of the chest, the cleavage area, the breast, the back, the abdomen. Almost everywhere do I do veins. We use three basic methods. One is radiofrequency where we can use a machine to help us close off a large vein. The second method is laser where um, we can laser certain vessels on the face and that's not a good primary method. We can speak about that later. And the third is uh, the old method of sclerotherapy. Sclero meaning hardening or scarring. And so basically that's done by injection. I sometimes tell patients that high tech is not the best tech. Everybody wants to know, do we have lasers? I have lots of lasers. The problem with lasers is that it's not the ultimate um, treatment for some of these things. If I paint a vein with a laser, I'm just painting that vein and I'm not hitting the trunk of the vein that may be causing the problem. So usually the best method, especially in the legs, is sclerotherapy or injection therapy. Sclerotherapy as an art has been performed uh, in Europe, especially by the French, for 70 years. And uh, the safety profile has been remarkable for the whole 70 years. The injection therapy is the therapy of choice for the legs. And I can usually get a patient through that even if they're needle phobic. It's, not, it's a tiny needle, as I said. And what we're doing is I approach a patient extremely gently with the needle. I almost never have a patient uh, complain about the discomfort level. The average procedure takes me about 15 to 20 minutes. Sometimes a person needs uh, two or three procedures and sometimes a person needs 10 procedures. It just depends how many veins they have. This first patient is a 46 year old patient. One of the very first patients I did years ago and you can see she has a terrible looking leg. She was embarrassed to ever put on a swimming suit or shorts. As you can see here, this is an extremely clean look and she's now developed a tan because she feels good about herself and she's back in swimming suits and shorts. The recovery time is really zero. I have joggers that jog in for a treatment and jog home. Uh, there's absolutely no special instructions. I rarely put people in stockings and they can return to their lifestyle immediately. Sometimes there is a medical reason to do it. Uh, large bulging veins of the legs can be painful. Um, sometimes after years of having protruding veins or um, ankle veins, uh, sometimes the skin of the ankles can break down and, to, and ulcerate and of course then it becomes a health hazard. So there are various reasons that this can be other than um, cosmetic. This uh, is a 35 year old lady who hated the uh, appearance of her hands. As you can tell the skin is very thin, the veins are thin and protruding. The next picture shows after we thickened her skin a bit by some peels and by some home therapy and we reduced the number of veins and she was much happier with her hands. For a cosmetic procedure, this is one of the least expensive procedures you can ever find. The other thing is I've always prided myself on never allowing price to get in the way of treating a patient. So that uh, individual circumstances vary and we discuss price uh, fully before they're treated and patients find it very acceptable. My vein service stands alone. It's the only thing I do. I've been doing only veins for over 10 years. I've done literally thousands of vein patients.